So today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to eliminate odor from your poultry farm. That bad smell that makes your neighbors start to complain about your farming operation, or even the flies that get things messy and everywhere you go you're just hearing the sounds. You know? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I think they've come. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to teach you exactly how to eliminate odor and flies from your poultry farm so you want to watch every part of this video if you don't want to miss any part of it yes i'm aware that there are a couple of ways you can actually deal with hold or you can deal with flies on your farm one of the most important ways is um you try to ensure that your deep litter is really deep you don't want to keep like about six centimeters uh from the floor you want it to be as high as six centimeters from the floor so your deep litter has to be deep did you get that deep litter has to be deep so that's one way to do it hey let's wait there if you think that you are in for videos like this you know videos that will help you improve in your poultry farming that will ensure that you optimize or you maximize your profit margin for layer farming for broiler farming for turkey videos that will just educate you more on poultry farming if you think they are for you then you want to subscribe to this channel like this video if you're already liking it and also click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads so let's continue with odor control okay so while we are going to a place that you don't want to miss i would like you to know that every bit of the information i'm sharing in this video is as important so you want to ensure that you stick with me to the very end so the second way that people may, might have talked about or probably this is also new to you is the use of beneficial microorganisms this also ensure that your poultry manure doesn't smell like normal one of the beneficial microorganisms that i use is the lactobacillus i made a video about it and i'm going to leave the link up here and also in the description below so you can check how to produce lactobacillus for yourself so if you include this in their drinking water it actually reduces the odor to the barest minimum but then we are still going to a place that you don't want to miss then one other thing that you want to ensure especially if you want to keep flies away from your farm is keeping the environment clean yes you have to keep your environment clean you have to remove debris you remove leftovers you know flies like to come over and check out the leftovers especially when water touches the leftover it becomes rancid it starts to ferment you know that kind of environment is very conducive for flies it, flies love leftovers especially when water pours on it and it starts to ferment so you want to make sure that you clean, you remove all leftover and finally we are here finally we are at the point that you don't want to miss and that is the use of voucher but for simplicity i would like to say the use of charcoal yes when we talk about the bedding now we are try trying to talk about the bedding to prepare the bedding of your chicken house you can use charcoal yes charcoal absorbs so much moisture and i'm just going to list a few things or a few reasons why charcoal actually works in removing odor i when i heard about when i first heard about this i just i was researching and i went i even went to places like amazon and saw bags of charcoal being sold and people place it in their city room people place it in their in their car maybe the car got soaked with water and they place the bag of charcoal in their car just to remove odor wow that's crazy so charcoal is actually capable of removing bad odor there is no doubt about that but then in this video i'm even teaching you beyond that it's not just about placing the charcoal in your chicken house to remove the bad odor it's actually preparing the floor with charcoal and your wood shavings so let me quickly show you how to do that okay so what we have here is charcoal yes the normal charcoal that you know okay it's something like this charcoal yes an alternative to this is the the voucher that is made from bamboo the same process of pyrolysis that the wood undergoes is what we do to uh, our bamboo and that one can actually be fed to animals it's an antitoxin actually 
that is it can disarm toxins in your beds even i've had somebody use it for dog before it, it, it was a client of mine that i trained in my organic poultry farming and he used it for his dog and the dog recovered so as a matter of fact i have the puppy of that dog here here with me i'm going to show you uh, i have the puppy, the puppy of that dog here now so charcoal is really great it has an extremely porous surface area and it's it, that makes it capable of absorbing so much moisture and um, the wonderful thing that it does it also absorbs smell bad odor goes into this thing and it's just like it sucks up the bad odor and makes and purifies the environment shockingly i found that even this um, filter that we use for our water the water that runs into the house shockingly i found recently that something like this is being used in the water filter something like that like this is being used in water filter and um, it's just amazing what we can do with this thing that is almost wasting all the time so you are able to get this waste and just use it for this purpose of um, your bedding just to make sure that you are able to suck up so much moisture and when that happens you are able to reduce to the barest minimum the ammonia that can be produced in the chicken house and that is so good so good for the whole farming operation in fact 30 percent of the diseases that arm chickens can be arrested when you do something like this so when you do this you can you can avoid 30 percent of the diseases imagine 30 percent of the diseases can be taken care of in fact you can record a very very minimal occurrence of coccidiosis in your broiler farming when you do something like this to your bedding so i'm still going to show you the rest the remaining part of this operation so let's just continue so there are two ways to actually have the wood shavings for those of you that might be super careful with okay maybe you are thinking ah is this not going to uh, mess up the, the body of the and the, the chickens, the broilers now, or in fact, the chickens. This is not going to mess up the body of the chicken. Well, not as much as you possibly think. But then if you are so worried about that, you can just put the shavings um, on top. On top, so moisture, because if you, if you notice, if you have noticed on your farm, um, the kicking, the kicking of the litter happens from under, on, from underneath. The moisture tends to go down, settle there, and the, the the litter starts to kick. So that even when you are packing the house, you can tell by the time you are packing, it's stuck to the ground. So as the moisture is going down, now what it meets there is the charcoal. Some other people use wood hash. This wood hash, you just pour it on the floor and that too does good but then I believe charcoal sucks up so much moisture and it doesn't allow for microbial growth underneath so it's a very very perfect solution but for some who don't care about um, I can tell you that they don't even get as much dirty as you probably think you can try it so for those who don't care that much what you do is you just mix you mix the whole thing up and um so the only reason why i decided to pour charcoal on the floor first is to ensure that the base is still covered with at least a film of charcoal at least a film of charcoal dust so it's important that you do it like that don't just start uh, by mixing the wood, uh, wood shavings and this charcoal and then, then pouring everything just pour your charcoal first on the floor and then add your wood shavings so either way you either mix it or you just leave this at the top it will still do good work good work it will still do good work 